The 11th Judicial Circuit is celebrating its 100th anniversary. And in this circuit, we have a tremendous history, a rich history. For some reason, Capone captures the imagination of people. So we thought we'd uh, bring to the public's attention Capone's involvement in South Florida's history. We're retrying Al Capone on perjury charges. And we'll see whether or not he's convicted or not. The real issue is uh, whether Al testified truthfully under oath in a previous proceeding or whether he didn't. This building opened in 1928, and this great courtroom opened at the same time. And so they built this big building, supposedly the tallest building south of Baltimore when it opened. It was not only occupied by the county and by the courts, but it was also occupied by the city. And you had two jails above this courtroom. Uh, they were up in the middle toward the upper part of the building. You had a city jail uh, and you had a county jail. In fact, Capone's lockup was in this building. The criminal court of record for Dade County, Florida is now in session. The Honorable E.C. Collins presiding. Please be seated. The criminal court of record of Dade County calls for trial case number 621, the state of Florida versus Alphonse Capone, alias Al Capone. The state of Florida alleges that on May 27, 1930, while under oath, Mr. Capone testified untruthfully. Every time I cross into Miami, they arrest me. I've arrested four times, not a warrant, no probable cause. They're the gangsters. They're the ones that need to be booted out of here. This circuit was very busy. Gambling was a huge problem uh, in Miami at this time. Even though the 30s was a hard time financially, uh, the Miami that we would know in the post-World War II period was really beginning to emerge during this time in terms of tourism, aviation, the organized crime problem. And see, Al Capone really is the lightning rod for organized crime as much as anybody. He just kept on disobeying our orders and was arrested. Let's back up. Out of those four arrests, how many of those stuck? Stuck? What do you mean, stuck? How many was he found guilty of committing a crime? There's that twitch again. I hate to bring it up. <laughs> if the jury believes from the evidence beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant Alphonse Capone committed perjury in a judicial proceeding, then it will find the defendant guilty of perjury. Jurors enter into court. It is my understanding the jury has reached a verdict who is the four person. Mr. Stern is the four person. George, if you please hand me the verdict form. Your Honor. We, the jury, find the defendant Alphonse Capone on the charge of perjury not guilty. So say we all this 28th day of September 2010, Nunc Pro Tunc, July 12, 1930, signed by the four person Jacob Stern. Oh my God, half the stuff that you see, not half the stuff, 80% of what you see going on here you would never see today. I mean, it's a free for all, it's a, there's no rules in there. And I'm wearing a 1930 suit. Other than that, it's the same lawyering. Uh, litigators tend to be very good actors. Uh, you know, some people say they're frustrated actors. Uh, I don't know too many that are frustrated. They're all really pretty good. Actually, the only transcript we had was of Capone himself, which is the only known Capone transcript in existence. But everything else, it was uh, spur of the moment and a lot of fun.